Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to a new video. Um, and this time it's a little bit of a different thing. I have no idea how this will turn out, but you see, it's it's not a haul. I'm, I'm not a unboxing. I'm not sitting here and I'm not going to a flea market. I mean, I have been in the morning, but there was nothing. Um, I'm actually trying to trade toys with someone. Con Con candy kittens this year. Cotton candy kittens. Cotton candy kittens. <laughs> she also has a real name. I don't know if you want want me to tell you tell people your real name, but you can find her definitely also on on Instagram. Uh, under that name, I will put it here. She also goes to flea markets. She's from Berlin. I met her a couple of weekends ago. I think you might have seen the video until yet. I don't know um, where we met at the flea market. And she said she has so many doubles. And today we met. So I put out all of my doubles, which is not a lot. <laughs> and she brought all of her doubles. Not all of her, but like a couple of, of her. And um, yeah. I, I, I don't even know where to start. This is all her stuff. This is all my. So these are all the doubles that I have. It's not, not a lot. A couple of very lovely locks dresses. A little bit of baby ponies. G3 stuff. A couple of Shira dolls. But like, <gasps> oh my gosh. I guess she probably has everything of that. So <laughs> I have no idea if I have anything to trade with. But gosh, look at us. I mean, I obviously have a lot of ponies. Chrissy. But like, oh, oh, I don't have this one. This is a G2. Oh my goodness. Mm. Do you have any of those? I just, I have that one. I'm missing two other ones. Uh, oh, there's a baby G2. My goodness. I mean, I'm not gonna film the whole process probably or whatever, just I wanna show you a couple of, wow, you have that one double. Is it bangles? Yeah, I had bangles. it three times. Another one in better condition, yeah. but I traded it off. <laughs> oh, I have it. It's like, that's not the way, I'm missing one of them. I'm missing the beautiful bows, I think. The, the, the yellow one. Oh. That's like, oh my goodness. So that's ponies. Then you already see there's Barbies. Wow. I mean, I have bedtime Barbie. That's like, if I would not have had her, I probably would have wanted this because I would unbox it. I would clearly unbox it. And there's fashion packs. Oh, 90s fashion packs in the box or cart. Are you saying cart or box? Oh, what are these? Coloring, Coloring books. Wow, Western Stampin' Barbie, Camp Barbie, gosh, I would love to color those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Camp Barbie again and Camp, Camp Teresa. I don't know which Barbie this is, but yeah. And who have we here? I don't know. I've seen this this uh, closet at a flea market recently, but I don't buy Barbie furniture. Oh my goodness, what's in here? Keepers! Keepers. <sighs> oh my gosh, I think I have all of them. Ah. But did you find all of the stuff like at flea markets? Probably, right? Yeah, almost exclusively and a little bit of eBay Kleiner zeigen, some okay. local ads. This is like... But you were... Stuff in big lots that were like a whole bag of plushies for five euro or for free. Oh my goodness. Um, how long are you doing this? You're doing this for years and years. Yeah, since 2012. 2012. Um, Oh. Since my daughter was about a year old, it okay. was the first time we started a children's free market. Oh yeah. oh yeah. I have them, so sadly I think I have all of them. Because I'm missing a couple of the smaller ones. Oh, this one is with, with, with the key. 
Yeah, but I have all of them. Woohoo! This looks this looks disturbing. The sun is in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Might she be a great planter? Oh yeah, you could plant uh, flowers in there. Yeah, okay. I think I have all of them, sadly, but but that's okay. She's in good condition. She's not yellowed. Okay. Looks really good. I mean, maybe a tiny bit. She is in nice condition, way better than mine, but. Yeah, I'm not buying doubles or getting or trading doubles. No, no, no. Yeah, she is also on my double table. <laughs> so. And I have also her on my double table. So, Little Miss Singing Mermaid. Okay. Oh, God, plushies. <gasps> And here's, ooh, ah, these are the special ponies, right? The ones that are a little bit more, let's say, a little rare. bit more rare and thought after. Yeah, I have a, uh, I'm missing the pony of that one. So this is Lucky Leaf, and then Leafy is, I think, is the, is the pony. I'm missing that one. Baby Beanchen, I have her. Yep. This one I have not shown on the channel, but I have it in a box. <laughs> I have it, so I have not unboxed it. Yeah, I have her as well. But these two. Oh, baby buttons with lipstick on. <laughs> but I, I'm not I'm not mad about things like that. And this is baby. Is Billy the correct name? Yeah. Billy. Billy. It's one from the, the ones that came with these little tiny animals. Baby pony with mini friend. Bunny. Little bunny, yeah. Oh, and, and this is a this is a G3 Minty Christmas edition. You just got this at a flea market, right? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I only seen it online as Target exclusive, so that's uh, hmm. weird. I mean, I have that pony, but I have no accessories and anything. And like, yeah, boxed. It, it, it's cool, but I, I don't know where to put boxed ponies. And I don't want to unbox it because I have that pony already. So that doesn't make sense. But I think here are more plushies. Oh my gosh. Popples. <gasps> All those popples are from the Noch Mall that you see on the back. <laughs> I saw so, your photo yeah. just from Friday, right? Um, and two others. Two others. Others. Other, other times. Other times. It's all Noch Mall. So each of these was one euro. So this is like a uh, like a um, not, not in not flea market, but like a thrift store in yeah. Berlin. I've never been there. I have to go there for sure. I think I have that one even. Oh, this one. Oh. I have no of the names from the popples, like I don't know where what they are called. Neither do I. <laughs> I knew one was called Chips. I had it uh, years ago. This I one I have. have that one. It's yeah. a French exclusive. French exclusive. Yeah. I thought it's probably like a Euro exclusive because I have I have them in one of the yeah. German Barbie magazines there. In a so. lot of ponies that yeah. are sold as UK exclusive who are sold in Germany too. So. Yeah. So I, I know people always say UK exclusive because. Americans think that all Europe is consisting of the UK. <laughs> no, we are also different countries in Europe here. Oh, this is one of the flower popples, and then this one. I mean, I could I could get everything probably here because I don't. Who is this? Hi. I have no. Hi, hi, ladies. 1999 WWE wrestling guy. Wrestle wrestle dude. Oh, this is a. I always forget it. Magic, magic nursery pets. pet. Oh, they are so cute. They they came like their ears were rolled up and you didn't know what animal it would be. And then the I bow, think the bow was looking yeah. Gotta stuff the ears back in. Ah, you can stuff yeah. it back in. Yeah, and you could only see the color of the bows. Ah, and then you didn't know if it was a bear or an yeah. or a rabbit it's or ah oh, like this. This is very cute. And this is one of the turtle tots, right? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it looks a little um, uh, like uh, naked. <laughs> it is, well. <laughs> so cute. And then, oh my goodness. I've never like had one in my hands. This is one of the brush loves. I know they're very thought after. I wasn't uh, to, the, to the point that I wasn't even sure if they were released in Europe or Germany because I never see them. They have these brushes at the tails and you could like brush their hair with it oh. and they have a comb another combo mirror here and they are they came in different colors that's really soft oh this is amazing so <clears throat> i have no idea really how to do that now but um 
Robbie Dean. <laughs> Where is he actually? Robin. There he is! Yeah. How can I forget him? He's my, he's, he's my dinosaur crush. I love him. I'm missing him. I mean, I have all of the rest of the family. Not in the standing pose. I have a couple of them just sitting. But um, uh, I really wanted him. I've never yeah. found him at flea markets. The other ones are also almost from flea markets. So yeah, I think I will leave you now and we will kind of figure this out. <laughs> And then maybe I come back and do a haul or let's see what, what we're gonna do. But like it's it's uh, even a little bit stressful because I don't know how to where to start. So see you then. Okay guys, so that took about 3000 hours, but we are, <laughs> I think we are done. This is what I like limited down my, my maybe pile. That was my, I think that was my maybe pile. And um, yeah, I was really thinking that I would actually like to have more popples because like look at them they are so stinking cute and this one oh, let's let's put it inside oh this is one of the um what did you say slumber like slumber party, party ones oh can you do that with one hand it's like oh your dress is cute I didn't even notice that <laughs> but like oh look at that but um, I think we have found a better way because she had, you, you saw it, she had a whole bag of popples and she would actually like to sell them or give them like all at once to someone and obviously I'm not taking all of them. So I'm not like separating them so the popples go back and to be honest I have five popples which, which, which is fine. So I'd rather take some of the plushies that I have none of than a couple of like G2 ponies not a lot of G1s but some and actually this is just what she chose because I'm willing to get like give my um, little pet shop sets the vintage ones away because I'm not I like them but I have not the biggest attachment to them nah. Ta -da. so yeah so she she chose four is it right one two three four of those sets then some of my Lady Lovely Locks double dresses, uh, some more for your daughter, newer, right? Yeah. Some newer ones, but they are cute. Like I cannot, I can, yeah, this one is even, this also lights up. And obviously, as I thought, she has all of that. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of knew that, but I think we're fine. I'm super happy. And um, to be honest, I know some of the stuff actually should go into my giveaway, which I still haven't figured out how to do that. Um, but yeah, I was actually also super surprised that I have a couple of like brushes double and a couple of Shira stuff. So, but guys, I think we're done. I will probably uh, get all the ponies in a nice condition and everything and then return to the kind of haul part. So uh, that will definitely follow up. I don't know, probably not gonna do that today, but maybe next weekend. And um, yeah, so bye bye. And I see you uh, sitting here with all of the ponies in a good and nice shape and then I will tell you all about them. See you there. So here I am to show you um, the things that I uh, got today a little bit more in detail. So you know this setup here, it's more like the whole part. You have seen everything in the video already but some of the smaller things I definitely want to show you a little bit more in detail on the camera. Let's start off with these three petite ponies. Um, yeah, I decided to uh, pick up these three petite ponies from her. Um, I kind of am not the biggest collector of them. They belong into the first generation of My Little Pony. Um, and I have, I think, four. Uh, they were released in, well, I don't want to say towards the end of the line, it was more like in the middle. So 89, 90s, some, sometime around, around that. Um, they kind of made these miniature ponies and also some, like some of them came just in sets of like four ponies or there were also bigger sets like with more ponies uh, and some of them came with little play sets. I don't have any of the play sets. They're very cute but you know they take up space <laughs> obviously. Um, so the ones I have here are the ones that have brushable tails. So they are definitely um, more called ponytail ponies because there were also some uh, sets that just had like molded tails because you see they have mold manes. Um, but 
a little bit like a tiny strand of brushable hair. Um, these two belonged into a, a set of four, I think. Here's the orange and the white one. I think there was another up here, pink and definitely a blue one. I have the blue one from the set. It's a, it's called set three, three so there are no, they, these ponies don't have names. But you see they do have a tiny symbol. What's this one showing? A brush and a comb. And then we have here a little alarm clock. I don't know if you can pick that up. I love these ones the most that have the super curly hair. Um, and this one actually is one that came with one of the play sets with a prancing pretty carousel. If you are a little bit into the petite ponies, you um, might know which one it is. Uh, it's like a carousel you can put ponies in and then it can twirl around. It has a mechanism or a it's, it's um, battery driven. And um, a lot of the sets had some kind of function and you see the bottom here, this uh, horseshoe pattern. You can, you could, in the, in the play sets, put them somewhere, turn them or whatever, how, how that would work, and then it would activate the feature. So probably then a carousel would uh, start turning. This one uh, indeed has a name. The ones that came with the play sets had names. This one's called Whirly and there was also a variant with a like molded tail. This is the brushable tail version. Um, in German, they were called piccolo ponies, so, but I bet most of you also know them just under the name of petite ponies. Yeah. Okay, then let's get to one of the, like, big things that I'm so, like, thrilled to have, which I actually wasn't ever, like, thinking about owning. This is the brush alarms. Um, a plushy. You know that I'm not a, the biggest plush toy collector. Um, mostly I only get like vintage plushies from the flea market. So all I, I have are actually flea market finds, almost all of them. Um, and, and I just know from like the general like vintage toy collectors community, uh, especially the ones that are into the very girly, cutesy stuff from the 80s and 90s, that these brush loves are very thought after. <laughs> they go for high prices. And um, I have, like, of course, I've searched them, like, online, eBay, etc. But it's like, like, no, I'm not paying these prices for something that I don't need to have. Um, I would rather have a pony for that price or whatever. Um, but, yeah, there's no denying and, and saying that they are so cute. And when she had one, like she said, it's a double. She has quite a lot of them. Um, and she was okay concerning like I was really like worried about like how do we like trade value against value but it's close like as long as both of us are happy uh, she said then it's fine and this one's also not in the best condition but that's the white one um, it's called bubble love uh, as far as I know and they just have been released I think eight in total so four in the US those were also released in, over in Europe um, this is one of them, so one of the normal ones. And then there has been another set of four that was Euro exclusive. And I think that's one variant as well. So there's not a huge variety to collect. Um, so this is the white one there. There obviously were other colors. Um, and what's so special about them is, you, you already saw it, what's, what's that? Um, I mean, they're not called brush loves for just for fun, no. They have a brush, so their tail is this brush here. It's a rubbery. Um, like, a, like a brush. I wouldn't really brush my own hair with it, but uh, then they have this mirror in one of their paws and the other paws is like it's meant to be like a powder puff and it was scented, but I, I don't smell anything <laughs> anymore. Um, they were made by M Toys, at least at first, and M Toys was the um, toy manufacturing business of uh, American Greetings, so I guess they were also definitely designed in-house by American Greetings, the uh, greeting card company that also like designed, for example, uh, Popples or Lady Lovely Locks, so those characters from Cleveland, though I don't know if, if that's really affiliated with them, if, if they're affiliated with those characters from Cleveland. Anyways, M-Toy, 
produced them and then later on they turned to Tyco. I don't know the history behind that. In Europe they were definitely more um, sold by Matchbox, so a different distributor. And as this one, the tag is <laughs> completely, oops, um, yeah, it's blank, there's nothing on it. I cannot tell, but probably as it's from Europe, I'm, I'm from Europe, so I guess that this is, uh, was originally um, brought out by Matchbox. Yeah, um, they are very soft. They are a little bit smaller than I imagined them to be because I've never seen one. I wasn't even sure if they were really released in Germany, but um, uh, Cotton Candy Kittens, she said she has found a couple of them also out in the wild, so I guess they were. <laughs> um, seriously, I don't see, I mean, I have not searched online for them like on eBay, etc. very often, but the couple of times that I did, I've never found them from Germany. So I was like, well, I don't know. And then I just like gave up. I don't know, I don't need them. But like, um, when it was presented to me, uh, it's very cute. Did you see that? I don't know if I showed it, but it has the Brush a Love's uh, name on the paw. Uh, I've washed it um, and with plushies I always feel just that it's just like mine when I have thrown them in the wash. Uh, I wasn't really super dirty, just a little bit of surface dirt. But um, yeah, um, <laughs> something that I didn't even realize at first is that um, like this part around the mirror and also the brush is actually discolored so this is actually supposed to be purple uh same as the hair is purple so um this one probably was sitting in the sun for a very long time but i'm not sure if i want to change it i mean i could try to, to bleach it back to its original color you know uh put it on a, with the um salon 40 cream and etc so retro riding i don't know if i want to do that it's not that big of a deal to me personally um yeah bottle love the brush of love and i was like really oh my god and another plushie let's continue with the plushies um this one uh i have sh like i think i found a couple of like dolls from this toy line out in the wild already i've showed them to you uh when i was talking about magic nursery um dolls these are the plushies the magic nursery pets um i knew that they were out here i had uh, seen them online a couple of times but they are also very thought after uh, and you know me not being the biggest plush collector not buying stuff like that online uh, and she had this one and yeah i wanted it so this is also not really like complete or anything uh, the thing with the um with the toy line itself magic nursery dolls and pets is that you got them and you didn't know if, like with the, especially with the dolls if it was a boy or a girl um and here you didn't even know what animal it was because they came like this and you uh they came in four different colors so there's the peach then there's a mint green there is a regular pink and there's a like purpley pink one um and you could get either a rabbit a bear a cat or a puppy um, and they were distinguished by the ears and like this you couldn't tell what it was but when you would pull them out of the package then you could find out by the ears ta-da this one's a bunny so they have these little pockets behind the ears so you can put them back in and yeah so you had quite a variety like four different colors four different animals and then interestingly enough there are also a variety of variants with um, this one is that has the belly button with a little hole in there or there are also variants that have the belly button just plain without this little hole um, and what else there are variants in terms of the eyes so this one has the pink eyeshadow and the pink spots here also was released with I think green eyeshadow um, very funny is also that the nose this doesn't work really well anymore um, so with hot or cold water uh, the nose would turn like into more of a heart or the star that you can see and uh, then you look very carefully you can still spot the heart <laughs> but that's not really working anymore i tried it neither with hot or cold it turns back or forth um, and uh, they came all with a little 
uh, package of clothing and uh, this one you would um, dissolve into water and that would like come out then so you would have another surprise um, layer there so another surprise the clothes so they came all with a little t-shirt and with little you know, bloomers or are they meant to be um, diapers I don't know for me that for me they look more like bloomers but could also be diapers anyway so the magic nursery pets um, yeah maybe the pink ones or the mint green ones are a little bit more you know my color scheme but this peach one also is super cute and I just when she had it I really wanted to add it to my collection so let's continue with the ponies which ponies did I get uh, <laughs> well you saw this this amount of G1 ponies so I was really hoping that there would be some that I didn't have but it turns out I have a lot of ponies already um, I just like from this pile of um, you know random common g1 ponies i picked out this mainsail why did i do that of course i have a mainsail minus back here um yeah mine is a little bit discolored i should do something about it but um i want to have this for a um for a custom project uh, i thought i want to have this pose and i want to make it green so from this blue color to get it into green is um, probably the easiest so that's why i thought in main cell is a really really common pony so i uh, was really like thinking oh, i should get uh, get myself a main sale and this is perfect because um it's not really in a good condition anymore the body is so that's a little bit like nah, the body is even a better condition than mine <laughs> but um the hair i mean it's from the sunshine ponies the line of sunshine ponies from um 80, 80. 88, 89, so year seven, I think. Um, and yeah, the, the thing is that these horrible white streaks, you can see it between the yellow streak of hair or in here, would turn um, like pink, pinkish purple in the sunlight, so with UV light. Um, and these, this hair is just a strange quality. It like, yeah, you can see it. It's really, really, really easy to get bad. So when you see these ponies, you almost all the time see them with very, very bad hair. You can see the yellow is, is perfectly normal still. Good, nice quality. Um, the white is just a big puff ball and you cannot get this back. You, there's just no way. Um, so I either would need to rehair it anyways, <laughs> or I can just use it as a custom. So, um, I'm not sure if I will show that project, but maybe I will do on the channel. So um, maybe you will see this girl again in the future. And yeah, by the way, I rehaired my uh, sunshine ponies all with new, uh, like um, UV changing hair, so that it looks <laughs> good again. So that's what I did with mine. <laughs> <coughs> Ah yeah, okay, let's go to something else before turning to the rest of the ponies. Robbie from the dinos or more commonly known obviously dinosaurs in German it's called the dinos. And I love the series. I really really love this character especially and I have almost all of them like the family together except Robbie was missing and when I met um, cotton candy kittens uh, at the flea market two weeks prior or four weeks I don't know when that actually was anyways um, I told her yeah I'm actually missing Robbie and she was like oh I have him double so I have a double of him so I was like ah please bring him I would really like to have him um, yeah these toys were obviously made after the <laughs> uh, TV show if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is, I mean, I have a couple of other figures already showed on my channel. I have the big baby Sinclair, the plushy version. So um, you, there's a chance you have heard me talking about them, but if you don't know what this is about, this was a um, puppet show, you could say. I mean, they were live, like actor, actors in these costumes and uh, these costumes are amazing. I mean, they are obviously made by the Jim Henson company, so same as the Muppets and a lot of other very good uh, animatronics. So they're animatronic hats with actors in them. And it's like a sitcom with a family, like a normal family, typical of the early 90s. I think the series started in 1990 and ran for four seasons, so until 1994. Uh, these toys were made by Hasbro in 1993. 
So there's the whole family. This is Robbie, so the brother. Then we have Charlene, the sister, Earl, the father, and uh, Fran, the, uh, the mother, and then the baby, obviously. And if you know anything about it, you probably know not the mama, not the mama. So <laughs> the small baby, baby Sinclair. This is the brother. This is Robbie, and he's kind of my my crush in terms of dinosaur. <laughs> he's he's great. I love him. Um, now I have him. So. There's that. They were actually also released with a couple of accessories together, but I've never found any of the accessories, so... Uh. Uh, and let's get to the G2 ponies, because these were actually almost like the only ponies that I didn't have from her pony pile. Uh, so I picked the ones out, even from the G2 ponies, I had a couple of them, but I picked a couple of them out. So let's start with, I don't know, let's start with this one. A very well-known G2 pony. This is Princess Silver Swirl. She's uh, so this character herself is the only unicorn that has ever been made in the G2 line. So G2s are almost all Earth ponies. Um, there are no Pegasus ponies at all. They're just a couple of ponies that have clip-on butterfly wings, um, and that's just this one character that has a horn. So that's a unicorn, Princess Silver Swirl. She's from uh, 1999, and she's actually pretty recognizable because she has these swirls these uh, she doesn't have just a normal rump symbol uh, or cutie mark so she has the whole body like with these swirls all over she is from the princess line so that continued from g1 on <laughs> that the princess ponies had tinsel in their hair um, the g2s you can see it here they actually have these little um, like rhinestones in their uh, eyes you can see it one of them is missing so and she is i don't want to say super discolored but she is not the white that she used to be once she's a little bit yellowed uh, i'm not sure if i should try to retro bright it because i'm not sure if these swirls will survive but i don't know maybe i just leave her like this because all over even if she's a little bit gray i mean her name is silver swirl so she looks very silver overall the hair is okay the tinsel is just Tinsel, so it <laughs> doesn't look as good as in the beginning. But yeah, Princess Silver Squirrel. Then we have Clever Clover, or Clover. Um, and I, I, I thought, oh, well, well, I have a Clever Clover. It, it, is, is it a double? Would this be a double? No, mine definitely has a different pose and mine also does not have tinsel. So I was like, this is probably also one of the princess ponies, right? half right because I didn't even know that but Clever Clover is actually a male pony. <laughs> it's not a girl, it's a boy, although the poses are exactly the same as the, the female ponies in the second generation. Um, but they had male characters and Clever Clover is a male character so it's not a princess but it's a prince. And it comes from a wedding uh, like two pack and I do have the matching Bride to this one. So these are then here Clever Clover or Castle Castle Friends Royal Wedding Prince Clever Clover and Princess Morning Glory. So yay, I have them both together. I didn't even realize that until I started searching because uh, when I see G2 ponies, most often I don't know the names or the sets. Um, I can recognize a Morning Glory because I find her find her all the time. But this is like royal wedding princess morning glory or whatever royal yeah and here's the prince so the groom they came together in a set they had obviously wedding accessories they had little crowns um also this one does not have the um like um the rhinestones so the star stars <laughs> the the gemstones in the eyes just one, the other one's missing. But um, same here, tinsel. Tinsel of G2 ponies, I have the feeling is also even a little bit different than tinsel from G1. It looks, most of the time it looks even worse, but I mean, yeah, you can. I can live with it. Very cute boy, which I didn't even know. Clever Clover. Clover. Oh my goodness, and now the sun's coming in. Yeah, this is what happens when the trees in front of my windows, uh, all the leaves are falling off and suddenly there's sun again. Um, Dainty Dove. 
very common pony. I've seen her online all the time. So um, she came with a play set, but I didn't have her. So she is also a wedding themed pony, but she doesn't have a groom. She doesn't need a groom, uh, similar to the uh, like first generation uh, bride ponies. She just is a bride or she loves to play bride or whatever. She came with a little um, uh, chapel. Um, like a very small playset thing, but very cute. Um, she's from 1998. So the uh, Clever Clover was also from 1999. So that's when G2 ponies were released from 97 onwards. Um, in the US they just like kind of uh, lasted for two years around, but in Europe they were released for a longer period of time and more characters, etc. But this one is a very common one also still released in the US. Um, I have the feeling her body also is pretty, looks pretty yellowish, but then again, all the pictures I see online of her are actually more this cream, so maybe this is actually what she is supposed to look like, more of a cream color instead of a bright white. She has these doves here and a little like wedding belt, so yeah, dainty dove. I really love the color combination of her hair, so this is really, really pastel, very, very cute. She has both of her gems in the eye, so that's very good. Yeah, the playset with the wedding chapel, that's, that's where she came with. Then I have this pony, and at first I also thought, ah, I, I do I have this pony, right? With this color combination and this hair, but mine does have a different symbol. Mine, my pony is Wing Song, but then again, this is also Wing Song, just in a different release, and suddenly she has these two birds on her. I, I don't know what's that about. And then there were also even two like sets where this exact pony was released with, and one of them isn't called Wing Song anymore, but then Medicine. Like, I don't get it. She was released with, you know, accessories that looked like, I don't know, she had like this, like a nurse hat or stuff like that, you know, with, with a box with a red cross on it. So it's all about medicine, being a doctor, I, I don't know, a nurse, whatever, um, in two different sets. So at first in 2000 as the Wing Song Secret Surprise and then in 2002 again as medicine. So I don't actually know where this pony definitely comes from, but that's her. I would rather call her medicine because it distinguishes her from just being Wing Song. Uh, this pony has some discolorations, so these pink spots there, here, and I think also on the front. Um, I cannot get this off, so my guess is that this directly comes from inside, from the body. It could still, it could also be again a highlighter mark, but my guess is same as with G1s. Uh, the plastic deteriorates and turns sometimes different colors. So this is my best guess. So I see that this also happens to G2 ponies, uh, but a very cute pony and very nice hair. You see, <laughs> as soon as you do not have tinsel, the hair looks still good. Sometimes it's the tinsel that makes it look worse. Yep, I picked up this super, super small, tiny baby pony. These are the baby ponies from the second generation. I know a lot of people really love those, so they can go for a little bit more. Um, and this actually comes from a twin set. A lot of these babies came uh, as twin sets in the um, second generation. Let me check about the name, because I forgot it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so the twins were called uh, Sweetheart and True Heart, but I don't know if this is sweetheart or true heart. Um, they just had the difference in like, uh, this pony has pink tail and a purple mane and the other baby pony has purple tail and pink mane. Um, but you can never see at the packaging which pony is which. It just says true heart and sweetheart. So like, uh, <laughs> It's one of the royal twins. So you can see it has tinsel, but it has the iridescent tinsel also. This, this one's a little bit better and also not a lot of tinsel. Um, these babies just have the symbols on one side, mm -hmm. foreshadowing what would happen to the to those ponies, uh, to the G2s, G3s then, because G2s still actually have the symbol on both sides. Ta -da. Um, yeah, but they are very cute. Obviously, this one also is missing the rhinestones, so both of them, but Still, the eyes do not look blind or anything. They still look cute enough. So really, really love these super tiny uh, G2 babies. 
as a lot of people do and yeah this one actually is from 2000 where's this pony as you know i'm mainly a g1 collector and of course i do collect g2s g3s etc but my knowledge that I directly have in my brain <laughs> lies within G1. So I'm not very knowledge knowledgeable about the other generations as much. So when I saw this one, I was like, huh, uh, very cute. The, the symbol looks like, um, I always say Eevee, no, Ivy. So there's a pony that has been released very often in the G2 line called Ivy. It has Ivy as a symbol, obviously. Um, uh, but I know that this the ones that I know have a different hair color and then I was like oh I don't know which one this is so um, and candy kittens didn't really check either if, if, which which ponies they are and I was extremely surprised when I found out that this is a very rare pony <laughs> um, don't worry I have told her already and she was also okay with it she's like yeah okay she didn't research it I didn't know it at that time um, but now I'm really really proud to own this one because this is a variant um, Maybe you remember that at uh, Nachtlichtcon I will get the pony. Wait, wait, wait I bought this one because I found her to be so cute her colors and she has this glow-in-the-dark streak um, She is from the set called the magic hair ponies. Is it called like this magic? Fantasy hair ponies, sorry, fantasy hair ponies. Fantasy hair ponies, they're four ponies. Two of them have a glow in the dark streak um, and the other ones just have like hair play accessories, like beads to put in, etc. And I find this whole set super cute. They all have the clever clover pose, so the one with the uh, one hoof up, um, which is my favorite G2 pose. I think it's so stinking cute. And so I kind of, I'm always looking for, for these and then I kind of know what the set looks like this goes into the set but it's a variant of the pony blue pearl which is actually ivy in the set um, it's also called so it's either called um, variant blue pearl variant or it's called blue haired ivy um, and the normal ivy in this set she would also have the same pose and the same body color same symbol but she would have uh, purple and um, pink hair so and reverse I think in front purple and then pink here definitely not blue um, so instead of blue the purple and she is said to be one of the rarest ponies of the generation 2 uh, at first it wasn't really either like known where she comes from people said she might be a Spanish variant from the Spanish carrying case but this has been like um, uh, debunked so this is not true anymore we know we, the G2 community, definitely has found uh, this pony mint on cart in this uh, fantasy hair pony set instead of the normal like ivy slash blue pearl version. So blue haired ivy or uh, blue pearl variant. Um, I have her now. So uh, just the coincidence, <laughs> I didn't know. Um, I have like my, my main resource in terms of G2 ponies is the website um, Lavender Lagoon. I met uh, the girl or the woman who is uh, running the site at uh, Nachtlichtcon and um, I really trust her, like what she says about G2 ponies. It's her main collection. Um, and she writes on the site that this pony is uh, valued uh, about for about like 100 to 120 euros, but the site is also not updated uh, very recently, so maybe it's valued even more nowadays. And I really believe that this is a rare pony because I've searched the internet far and wide and I've never found one sold in the last two days or what I uh, have found out about this. Um, so I cannot say if this is really what she would go for because I haven't found anyone that I haven't, haven't found uh, this pony in, in a sold listing. So she is amazing and beautiful. That's why I actually like uh, from the beginning, I said this is the most beautiful pony in this little lot that I got here uh, in terms of the G2s. And now I'm so proud to have her. Like, I feel almost like, like I don't know, not good for the trade now because she's valued for way more than all the stuff that I gave to her. But um, 
yeah, that's what it is. Uh, she's also not mint, obviously. She has also a couple of these pinkish spots here and there. Here's one again. Um, yeah, my guess again as with the other pony that comes from inside the body, I guess. Uh, she does have both of her like uh, rhinestones, so that's amazing. In that case, she's really good condition. Also, this is uh, fading pink, and this has not faded yet. Okay, enough blubbing, but this is probably now one of my rarest ponies that I have. Not only G2. <laughs> okay. But I did also pick up two more G1 ponies. And I kept them for last because I know you are most interested in G1 ponies. So, which ones did I pick up? These little cuties. Ah, yeah, she had a separate bag of ponies where she said mm, they are a little bit like more uh, worth more than, than the average, you know, main sale, etc. And that's why she kept kept them separate. But also from this pile, I had a lot of them. So. Um, these I did not have. So this is Baby Buttons. Um, obviously Baby Pony version of uh, Buttons. Buttons at first I think was a So Soft Pony, but also in Europe, as we didn't have So Soft Ponies, was released without the flocking. And um, this Baby version is also a Euro exclusive pony. Um, so there was the first normal like Baby Pony play and care set in 83 or 84, more like 84. So it's year three, 84, 85. Um, uh, you know them, baby, baby cotton candy, baby surprise, etc. But the same year, or maybe one year later, uh, Europe also released a different uh, baby pony set, just called Baby Ponies. So there's nothing to it, uh, with different characters of other adult ponies. So that we had Baby Cherry Jubilee, we had uh, Baby Hopscotch, Baby Honeycomb, Baby Brrr, Lemon Drop, and Baby Buttons, and Baby Cotton Candy again. So this is. That's why Baby Cotton Candy is very uh, not very rare at all. Uh, she was released several times, but these are a little bit more hard to come by. In Europe, they're not really rare, I would say, but they are definitely valued for more. They are um, thought after and people pay quite a lot for them online, at least. Um, this one's obviously not in a super good condition, but I'm happy to have her and you know that I'm not super picky. Um, I can easily uh, rehair it so the tail is cut. Uh, I'm 100% sure the mane is also cut. Um, it's true those baby ponies they didn't come with really long hair but this is rather short. I don't think this is the original length. Um, and you see it. The child played lipstick here. Uh, and not with a real pony lipstick. But those also were hard to remove uh, after a while, but I guess this was really just a highlighter. Yeah. Mm, yeah, but I probably will not be able to really like bleach this off. I'm not that patient. Um, I probably will paint over it to find a good color. And then from when you when you display her like this, it's not that noticeable. And I have these hair colors, so I might just rehair her. Otherwise, from the body, um, there's nothing. There's no rub, the eyes are okay, um, and no other like cancer spots or anything. So baby, um, baby buttons uh, in German, strangely enough called baby Blümchen, so baby flower, <laughs> I don't know. Um, these are not flowers, they are supposed to be buttons. So happy I have the adult buttons. Now I have the baby pony. That's always very, very good feeling to, to have a little set together, although they were not released as a set. But um, yeah, baby buttons. And then this one, also a Euro exclusive pony. This is baby Billy. Yeah, I always struggle with the names of these three ponies because they are not really reminiscent of like, you know, the symbol or, or something. They really have kind of human names. <laughs> um, it's a set of three ponies, very late release. So like year, I don't know which year, year in 92, 93, I think 93 around that time, 92, 93. Um, uh, that was uh, around the time when in America there weren't even uh, releases of G1 ponies anymore. Um, and they are called ponies or in German baby pony mit mini freund. So they came like this and with a very little tiny hard plastic animal that resembled what they had as a symbol. 
so so this one obviously that was baby billy with bunny so it has a bunny here um, both sides the same obviously as we have it in g1 and um, came with a super tiny little bunny that resembled this one um, the molds of these bunnies uh, they actually were reused from the little litters um, kind of my little pony spin-off toy line that wasn't super popular by the way i can show you um i have it in a magazine so here they are they are three so they are baby um susie and spot that's the blue one with a little dalmatian then baby um Ka katie and the kitty so the yellow one and there you see the pink kitty and then we have here in the front baby billy with uh, the little bunny just called bunny so um and these molds uh were came actually from this little spin-off line where my little pony also released other animals not the pony friends uh they, they really look different they were flocked but they had kind of the same my little pony logo they were just called my little bunny my little kitty etc and those are the molds from these they reused them for for these ponies here um other than that nothing too special you see that this is a very very bold color choice i think that's the first pony that i have like that's in this like very hot pink really like a barbie pink now uh, this is really not not very often that you see it in the first generation of my little ponies and um uh, as they are euro exclusive ponies and from pretty late in the line they are also very thought after but she even had two doubles of it so she finds them pretty often at flea markets apparently great that i never find g1s at flea markets anyways now i have baby billy i'm super happy about it she is in gorgeous condition like perfect mint i don't know hair perfect symbols eyes no spots whatsoever and the other one was as well so both of them were in the same condition that was my little haul i'm so happy i don't know if it was little wasn't little it's a lot of ponies that i just traded and all these plushies and I, I feel kind of guilty now for knowing that i even already found that with the with the brush loves in there and this many ponies especially two euro exclusive babies and then this rare um g2 i feel a little bit guilty about this uh trade but i'm so I, I'm so thankful. So thank you so much, Cotton Candy Kittens. Um, I really don't know if uh, you want me to, to, to say your real name. That's why I stayed with the Instagram name. Um, thanks so much. Um, I will definitely now hold my eyes open for the stuff that you are searching for that I usually maybe wouldn't uh, be interested in because I, I, I definitely have to, to give you something for, for this more than I already did. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this little um unusual video like toy hunting at home or something i don't know how i should call it um so please give it a like a thumbs up sub subscribe consider subscribing if you haven't and um hit the bell icon to get notified because uh recently there have been more people again that tell me that they don't see my videos when they are new pop up on their youtube feed so please do that click the bell icon then you get immediately um informed about that so and uh, comment down below if my comments are open i i uh, give my best to keep them open for you so thank you so much for watching see you real soon and may the ponies and other toys be with you bye